Every type of plant and food have their own toxin components which are called natural toxicants. Natural toxins are toxic compounds that are naturally produced by living organisms. These toxins are not harmful to the organism themselves, but they may be toxic to other creatures, including humans when eaten. In this video, we are going to talk about natural toxins that can be found in potatoes. Yeah, natural toxins that can be found in potatoes is solanine. As we can see in this picture, it shows greenish potatoes. When exposure to light causes potatoes to produce chlorophyll, it can also encourage the production of certain compounds that protect against damage from insects, bacteria, fungi, or hungry animals. When exposed to light, potatoes produce a toxin called solanine. It protects them from insects and bacteria, but it is toxic to humans. Greening in potatoes is a good indicator of solanine. Then, what is solanine? Solanine is a glycoalkaloid to be found in potatoes. Glycoalkaloids are secondary plant ingredients occurring in plants of the nightshade family as a defense mechanism against pests and germs. Potato tubers mainly contain the glycoalkaloids alpha solanine and alpha chaconin, mostly in the peel of the tubers. Particularly, high concentrations are to be found in the sprouts and stem buds, the so-called eyes. The presence of green parts indicates an elevated glycoalkaloid content. The solanine concentrations of potato tubers varies with the degree of maturity at harvest, rate of nitrogen fertilization, storage conditions, variety, and greening by exposure to light. Commercial potatoes contain 2 to 15 mg of solanine per 100 g fresh weight. However, greening of potatoes may increase the solanine content to 80 until 100 mg per 100 g. A content of up to 20 mg of glycoalkaloids per 100 g potatoes has generally been recognized as safe up to now. How great is the risk of suffering glycoalkaloid poisoning? The mechanism of glycoalkaloid toxicity is by exerting their toxic effects on the nervous system, in which they interfere with the ability to regulate acetylcholine, which is involved in the transmission of nerve impulses. This toxin has neurological and gastrointestinal effects. When it is ingested in large enough quantities, it can cause nausea, cramps, vomiting, and diarrhea in addition to symptoms like confusion, dizziness, difficulty walking, and slurred speech. Eventually, the body will become overloaded with the toxin causing organs to fail and eventually leading to death or severe injury. Solanin appears to affect the mitochondria of the cells as it spreads through the body. Solanin levels are highest in the skin of a potato. For this reason, peeling a green potato will help significantly reduce its levels. Unfortunately, boiling and other cooking methods including baking, microwaving, or frying do not significantly reduce solanine levels. Thus, they won't make green potatoes any safer to eat. How to prevent potatoes from turning green? Proper potato storage is important for preventing higher levels of solanine from developing. Physical damage, exposure to light, and high or low temperatures are the main factors that stimulate potatoes to produce solanine. Be sure to inspect potatoes before purchasing them to make sure they have not been damaged or already started greening. At home, store them in a cool, dark place such as a root cellar or basement. They should be kept in an opaque sack or plastic bag 
to shield them from light. Now, we go to the analysis part. There is a research that has been published about solenin content in potatoes and the analysis used in that research to analyze solenin content was HPLC method which is high performance liquid chromatography. The main purpose of the HPLC technique is to identify, quantify and purify a particular analyte or compound. The title of the research is The Evaluation of New Strategies to Reduce the Total Content of Alpha Solanine and Alpha Chaconine in Potatoes. This experiment was done by HPLC analysis under isocritic conditions using an eluent mixture of acetonitrile and sodium phosphate buffer at pH 7 at a concentration 0.01 molar with a flow of 1 mL per minute. This paper describes new methods for alpha solanine and alpha chaconine reduction in the potato cultivar known as Marabelle. The potatoes were incubated at room temperature in the dark for 24 hours and the optimal experimental condition was achieved with sodium hydroxide solution at pH 12. In the acid samples, alpha solanine and alpha chaconine reduction was 43% and 27% respectively. The process proposed here allows to minimize the total content of glycoalkaloids with respect to mode of collection, storage and cleaning of marabelle potatoes. Based on the results, they establish a simple industrial process which is also economical, easy to apply and compatible with food that helps significantly to decrease the content of two toxic glycoalkaloids in potatoes. So potatoes should be harvested at full maturity after the plant has dried cleaned and stored and before the embedding washed with a solution of acidic pH about 3,4 acetic acid or better basic pH about 12,4 sodium hydroxide. A number of unpublished tests but whose results are perfectly consistent with similar experiments reported in the literature indicated that potatoes should avoid palms or cut and be sold in closed envelopes and not on usual screens to avoid light and slightly larger than necessary to avoid impact or crushing when moved. These results are very interesting, particularly in consideration that in many countries, potatoes are widely eaten in the daily diet and often without being peeled. The promising results could also find application in other products such as tomatoes and aubergines containing the same glycoalkaloids or molecules with similar structure. Let's move on to the second research. The title is Liquid Chromatography Mass Spectrometry Quantification of Alpha Solanine, Alpha Chaconine, and Solanidin in Potato Protein Isolates. For potato proteins to be used as a food ingredient, the level of natural potato defense substances, the glycoalkaloids, shall be limited. In this work, a method is developed for quantification of the two major potato glycoalkaloids, alpha solanine and alpha chaconin, as well as for their ugly cone form, solanidin. Using liquid chromatography mass spectrometry single quadrupole in single ion monitoring mode. Standard solutions of GA and a food grade potato protein powder was used to validate the method. A linear correlation between GA concentration and the ion intensity of more than 0.995 was obtained for all standard solutions. 
Recovery of GA in spike sample was within the range 82% until 106%. The method for GA quantification was applied to a variety of potato protein isolates. The result showed that total GA increased during the storage of the potatoes, washing the potato protein isolates using water as a sufficient level was shown to be able to reduce the amount of GA below the threshold of 150 microgram per gram as needed for human consumption.